After replacing one or all cylinders, we've just replaced all eight cylinders in this XLR. Obviously, we need to refill the pump. The cylinders currently have air in them. Um, normally, you don't want to fill the pump above the maximum line because there has to be a certain volume of air in here for the reservoir to breathe. When the cylinders retract, they actually uh, put more fluid into the reservoir and uh, if you normally fill above the maximum line then uh, you create pressure in the reservoir that'll blow out the oil seal to the um, electric motor eventually but now that we have uh, just replaced eight cylinders we're going to apply a special trick that is we overfill the reservoir uh, but not uh, fasten the fill screw all the way we just thread it back in. So the fill screw up here on the reservoir is a 13 millimeter hex, has a little o-ring as a seal. Um, later on when you tighten it you want it just as just tight enough that the o-ring is in place. You don't want to over tighten this fill screw because you'll just um, uh, strip the plastic threads. An easy way to fill the uh, pump is with a syringe or you can even use a turkey baster. Um, I have here our favorite fluid, Mercedes Fluid um, 00098991103 or Febby 02615. And I have a two ounce syringe that I already stuck in here and filled up with this fluid and I will just um, put a couple of ounces of fluid in here and uh, we can get started this way I'll just loosely thread this plug back in now we will uh, put the luggage divider back in and start cycling the system uh, the fluid will go into the cylinder, cylinders will expel air back into the reservoir, the fluid level will go down and we will have to refill it at least once uh, during the first uh, cycle and then we'll cycle the top another three times or so um, to um, ultimately get the fluid level right. Ideally, when the top is up, in the end, your fluid level should be closer to minimum. When the top is down, closer to maximum. And again, as I said, it'll take several cycles to get all the air out of the cylinders for you to finally adjust the fluid level to where it should be. So we will run the top now, cycle it. Um, this will be enough fluid to do almost a full cycle and we will have to refill and um, cycle it a few more times and then do the final adjustment. And um, one thing you want to watch out for is you don't want to run this pump for more than a couple full cycles without a break because the poor little electric motor made in China will overheat eventually if you uh, keep running the pump. You'll just throw error codes on the computer. So prevent that by cycling the top twice, giving it a five minute break and uh, then cycling it another couple times and finally adjusting the fluid level and you should be good. So we have replaced all eight cylinders in this XLR plus the hydraulic pump. Started this morning, it is January, still isn't dark out, uh, that's proof. It took a couple of us uh, way less than a day to do all the work, including reshooting uh, lots of scenes here and uh, setting up cameras and the likes. So um, with all this detail, um, it should tell you that if you're good with your hands and you um, are detail oriented, you can pretty easily uh, swap the whole hydraulic system that is all eight cylinders and the pump in a day or at least a weekend if you want to uh, go at it slowly and um, have this convertible top ready to uh, work another 30, 50 years if the car uh, hangs in there that long. So the rebuilt parts from top hydraulics really are made to last 30 to 50 years, way longer than the original parts. And um, it is actually smart preventative maintenance to do everything at the same time, because on this car we noticed that seven out of the eight cylinders in it were already leaking, and um, the whole thing was going to blow any moment. Problem is, 
uh, for example, if your front lock cylinder leaks, it will stay in your headliner. It'll drip onto the inside. Uh, you just create a big mess. So be proactive and just take care of everything at the same time. Saves you a lot of labor, anxiety, and money doing everything in a package deal and um, going at it only once. So just as final proof, we will run the top one more time and uh, show you that everything works again. Here we go. So the front is unlocking, the front tonneau lock cover is lifting, the trunk lid is lifting. Next we will see the rear tonneau cover. Um, up first we see the top coming down. Then once the top is down, the rear tonneau cover will um, extend to basically extend the trunk lid. Then the uh, trunk lid goes down right after this uh, front tonneau cover has flipped and uh, with that, the top is down and we are done everything works as it should woohoo